Phil Volker lives near Seattle, Washington. He has stage four cancer. Since he couldn't make the Camino in Spain, he mapped out a route on his property and walked it. He kept track of how far he went each day and charted where he would have been in Spain. Unexpectedly, he was given a release from his treatments that allowed him to fulfill his dream of walking the Camino. This became a documentary called Phil's Camino. On July 22, 2017, Phil came to Lake Forest to participate in the Camino, show his movie, and speak at Mass. Such a pleasure to be here, uh, such an honor to be here in front of this uh, most vibrant community that you have. Um, I hope you don't take it for granted. Uh, you're all lovely and, and you, uh, you make a big difference. So here I am, I'm a leftover from yesterday. Uh, We had a great Camino yesterday. We had a great I didn't walk a step, but uh, I, I was busy. We had four showings of the movie Phil's Camino. Uh, I hope sometime you get a chance to see that. Uh, and um, I, uh, I did a couple of homilies yesterday, uh, and here I am. This is what I, I normally don't do this, so... Uh, um, but here I am. So uh, I was asked to maybe continue with the sort of themes I was working on yesterday, um, which was talking about uh, what we did in the movie and, and the sort of the theme of the movie and, and how we uh, used that and, and what that was all about. So all that started out with my uh, diagnosis, uh, my cancer diagnosis back in 2011. And I've been sort of dealing with... Uh, with that ever since. Uh, so uh, the movie, somewhere along the line, the movie uh, got started. And we say St. James is our executive producer um, because, uh, <laughs> because the whole thing was sort of meant to happen. A lot of stuff is totally out of human hands. It just clicked together. And, and we have a movie, and it's running down the tracks, and people are are um, sort of getting uh, a lot from it. So I'm totally happy with the whole situation, although um, I have little to do with it, but sort of run after it uh, at, at this point. But um, so I call it my the three C's of the movie, and that is uh, the Camino and uh, my cancer and our Catholicism, uh, three C's, Camino, Cancer, and Catholicism. So it's kind of a strange mix, but uh, we seem to get along. Um, <laughs> um, the Camino, okay, let's start with the Camino. The Camino is, it all sort of focused to me of like going to Spain, going, going to walk that 500 miles, going you know, getting ready, getting training, uh, getting the right gear, getting the plane tickets, getting this, getting that, um, getting the time off, getting, you know, all that stuff. And then, you know, was, uh, we were very focused on that. And, uh, and then somewhere along the line, someone said, wouldn't it be cool if we could document this? Oh, okay. Uh, and then the idea of the... So this is my recollection. The idea of the movie sprung up, and uh, um, we had a f three person film crew go with us to Spain um, and sort of film our antics over there. A documentary is, is there's no, we're, we aren't actors, we're subjects. That's what we call subjects. Uh, and not that that's a bad thing, but. Uh, uh, so we just did what we do, 
we did what we do, and we were filmed doing that. That's all it is, you know. Uh, we didn't have any script or anything wasn't really um, sort of patterned or planned very much. Um, we walked and the film crew sort of caught us in our various stages of uh, joy and misery and whatever. Uh, so um, it's a pretty, pretty uh, truthful, pretty truthful, yes, exactly truthful sort of statement. So the cancer, okay, that's a Camino. You know, the cancer came in and just um, threw me through a loop, you know. Uh, the whole diagnosis thing, I mean, I'm sure people here, some of you have been through this, a lot of you have been through this maybe. Uh, you, the whole world seems to fall on you and uh, it's a whole... It's a whole new situation. So that, to me, was uh, my sort of time of breakthrough. Uh, I was able to use that sort of bad thing to be a good thing somehow. I was blessed to be able to do that. So um, I took the energy that I should have been spending on uh, coulda, woulda, shoulda, and being angry and sort of put it to good use. So, um, new Catholic, I uh, um, came into the church four years ago at Easter, went through the whole RCIA, and uh, God, what a wonderful time we had. Um, so, now looking back at it all, I don't know uh, if I could have done it without that. Uh, um, it's such a wonderfully strong faith that we have and sort of organization to back that up. And um, so, and that was, I saw more of that in Spain and, and more of that because people were walking from all over the world uh, to sort of f get a feel, that, get a feel for it there, get a, uh, get a glimpse of that, get a, get a, um, sort of a, a whiff of that. I don't know. Um, It was happening there, though. There was definitely magic going on there. Um, so uh, one of the things that came up in the film is that, that quote that I had about uh, there's a difference between healing and curing. I don't know. I hope you guys all got to see that. But uh, I, I, I was asked if I could talk about that for a couple minutes today. So somewhere along the line, I, I, um, had a, I was blessed to be able to come in contact with a famous doctor in Seattle. Um, he had passed away, but I, I got to know him through a friend. And he, had a, um, he was known because he was a very good doctor, and then he retired and he became a, uh, a hospital um, chaplain which is really hard to do. It's hard to, you know, change those from that side, one side to the, sort of the other. Uh, the doctor always wants to fix stuff. You know, he wants to fix stuff all the time. And he's never quite listening to you. And um, <laughs> sorry, doctors. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I'm in trouble again. Um, Whereas, whereas the um, the chaplain is is you know a ba basically a listener, you know, and and so um, he did that. He went from he did both of those jobs very well, and he sort of had this idea. I don't know, maybe it wasn't new to him either, but uh, that there's a difference between healing and curing, and so you originally get cancer and you're just you're, you know, you're totally, totally, totally um, involved with becoming cured. You know, how do I get over this disease? Um, then as time goes on, maybe uh, the, the doctors, you know, doing what they do, they're very good, get a grip on all that, and maybe they, they cure you and you're over your disease. Or maybe 
that doesn't really happen. Maybe they put you in a place that it turns it into sort of a chronic situation, which sort of happened to me. Uh, so I have had years to sort of do what I do um, and um, live out this dream that has been happening to me, really. Uh, so, so I identified that that's curing, but healing is sort of being in, reconciled with God and um, your family and you know all those things that really are important and so that's you, you don't you know you can be healed without being cured you know can you see you you um, come to this sort of higher place where you're um, sort of in tune with everything without actually being cured okay so so I'm happy with that, personally. I'm happy with that, with that place. So that's one thing we've sort of identified and sort of played with and talked about. And um, it's, it sort of sounds new to some people. So I, I hope that maybe helps you out a little bit. Thanks so much for inviting me. I, uh, I've got an invitation to maybe come back next year. And I told uh, Dave Owens... Um, you know, look at next year is like uh, an infinity away. Um, you better talk to uh, the man upstairs and about all that. Uh, because I just live like three days at a time. So I hope I'm here. Thanks a lot. Camino Stories Along the Way